Hello there, I'm Mark Cesario, and I'm a GitLab Enterprise Solution Architect. Happy to be here today. So I'm here to help understand, help you understand why self-manage or why GitLab.com. Choosing between them. I just see more and more customers having to make a decision between GitLab self-manage, also referred to as on-prem, and GitLab.com a SaaS offering, and it's an important decision to our customers. There's pros and cons on both sides, and we'll walk through this during our short time together. I'm going to be focusing on the pros or enforced management terms, positive business outcomes, and required capabilities. First, let's deal with some basic terminology. What is self-manage? Also referred to as on-prem. What is GitLab.com? or a SaaS software as a service. So self-manage or on-prem, the customer is directly responsible related to infrastructure, network, power, server, database. I think you get it. While we'll, you know, they can install Omnibus, but they're still responsible for all of this. And the security, whereas a SaaS is this GitLab.com, a SaaS offering, is off the shelf, implemented quickly, literally can be up in hours. It's a subscription service. Big differences, pros on both sides, and we'll walk through those right now. But before we do, I have a little customer story. I think it's good to know. Uh, probably everybody knows Chris Hill if they were at the SKO. And Chris started on a Jaguar and his, uh, Great story, if you click this, you'll drive into this uh, blog, one of our blogs, and basically he brought in GitLab as a self-managed, self uh, they controlled the infrastructure and network, which was important because they're actually pushing out the, the cars, the auto, the, the Land Rover, as people are driving it. So uh, really successful. I think they went, if I uh, got it correctly, feedback loop went from about four to six weeks down to 30 minutes with GitLab. Great story. Then I had two years, here he is, takes his, his family from the UK to Seattle, starts working at T-Mobile as the senior manager software development. And <clears throat> Chris made a decision early on that, hey, I, ha I don't have that six months window to spin up, build the infrastructure, the network, the server, security, all of that. Let's partner with GitLab. Use GitLab.com and start working on a solution. Very successful story. This right here is a link you'll have for Chris's recent talk at AWS Summit. And uh, it's worth the 20 minutes. And I spun you up right to the point where Chris starts talking with that link. So the point here is that self-managed, SaaS, both important, both viable. So let's look at the pros, what I would call the positive business outcomes, required capabilities you need. For GitLab.com or the SaaS solution, low to no overhead, right, admin? You don't even see the little sprocket up at the top. Infrastructure cost taken care of by GitLab. GitLab high availability, accessible anywhere, any page, anywhere in the world. Minimal loss of data, disaster recovery, all of that is part of GitLab.com. You do not have to deal with those. Big issue for Chris at T-Mobile. The big pros that I see where it self-manages you have total control. Install, administer your environment, your infrastructure, bare metal, VMs, Kubernetes. If you have custom hooks, you have some custom integrations that you can't have, you have to have, and it's proprietary or whatever, you're going to go with self manage. Maybe very large files, or we're talking about large files, uh, efficiently handling those in the right infrastructure, the right you know, hardware or database, whatever, you can do that with self manage. GitLab.com, you're kind of limited to what GitLab.com offers. So what I've got on the bottom here is a link that takes you to a nice list of all of these um, differences and what's important, what's, you know, where you can, where you can make your decision. Lastly, you have a choice, right? So I love this. If you're a Matrix fan, you'll like it. Uh, what's important to you, right? You being the customer is control. If it's control, flexibility, custom integration, self-manage really is the option. 
Now, if it's more of resources, infrastructure costs, implementation time, those sort of key issues, GitLab.com is probably a better option. There's always security that's always an issue that needs to be considered as well. So do you take the red pill, totally managed by the customer, or do you take the blue pill, which is managed by GitLab.com and live blissfully? It's a choice. Hopefully I've helped you uh, get to there, understand it. You can steer the customer in the right direction, whether it's self-managed or SaaS. Uh, one more thing I can leave you with. You're not stuck. If you want to go from self-managed, from the red pill over to the blue pill, I've got a link here. Click the little blue button. That's our self-managed to get lab.com. And we're getting better and better with that every, every GA cycle, every month. Or if you want to go and you want to take those projects, get lab, those projects, those groups, whatever, you can do that now. The little red pill will take you to that. Go out there with this knowledge, help guide our customers, and happy selling.